Hey, 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 y'all, what's happening? Welcome to our channel, T Girl Magic Arrow. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my G -G Gemini, my lovely Gemini's. What's going on, Gemini High Vibe Cross Watchers? I hope everybody is doing well. I do. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. You're alive. It's the time to be alive now, y'all. Yay. Um, keep in mind, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody. You already know the drill. Hopefully you do. You know what to do. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Um, choir, come to the front. Come to the front. Uh, 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 um, one, two, three. Oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Gemini, 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 Yay, choir. You guys do such an amazing job always. And I want to say thank you for all your support and everything that you do for me in the channel. As far as, you know, tuning in and doing your donation, not donations, or donations when you do send them, thank you. But it's not, you know, required or anything. But for your emails of confirmation, your kind words, your likes, your shares, all of that, I appreciate all of that. That helps the channel grow. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. But just real quick, though, before we get into it, I just have, <laughs> you know me, I just wanted to digress a little bit because, you know, I was visiting with my baby girl, my daughter and stuff, and she's she's not dating right now, but we were just talking about that. So then I noticed because she was showing me some of the um people that were reaching out to her online and then i was like mm -mm, they, they don't make them like they used to and i'm sure the men can attest i know the men everybody can attest they don't make people like they used to anymore this whole dating scene is disgusting no offense to anybody but honestly an energy reader or someone that's tapped in high priestess someone that's elevated and tapped into source I honestly don't think that we could date anybody online because the energy pops through immediately. Like you're not judging them, but the judge be in you, which is God. And so you get discernment of everything about this person's life of what they do, of how they pose, that look in their eye, that lust. Child, they got the man. Why the men's all, and not, I, I, I can't speak for the women because I'm not on the line, you know, but the, the men I noticed they be having their shirts, especially the ones that be having their shirts off and their panties and shit. I be like, why you got your panties on? <laughs> and they be having that lusty look and shit. I be like, mm -mm, this is not, this is weird. Dating is not like how it used to be. Everybody's lusty, okay? It always wants to be sexual based. They talk about, I just want to be friends. No, you want to be friends with benefits. And then they be having their wedding rings on and shit. I be like, mm mm. So I'm so thankful that I'm not in the dating world, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of Decepticons out there and you can't be, I'm not trying to put fear, but you just gotta, it's just a blessing to be an earth angel, okay? It's a blessing to be celibate. You don't have to tap into these other energies. You don't know where the fuck they've been. You know what I mean? They all want, they all want love and relationships, but don't nobody want to put in the work and they're, re they're running away from the challenges and the things that they need to address to level up their life but they're so busy looking for everything on the outside without working on things on the inside so i'm like mm -mm, i'm too healed to be trying to date anybody online or look at anybody or anything and my daughter was like yeah this is a no bueno so yeah i, I don't know why we, i said that maybe some of you guys are looking for some love online and honestly i'm gonna keep it so 100 and i'm not trying to be a debbie downer i just keep it 1000 if you really go and look at the people online, because maybe some of y'all like, I don't, I'm not, I, then that's the problem too. I'm just looking for somebody to hang out and chill with. Well, you need to get your shit together and your priorities. You're too grown. Grown people don't be having friends. Well, they do have friends, but grown people build establishing relationships. They build committed relationships with structure and discipline. They, yeah, they are sexually driven in certain things like that, but they're driven for their partner. They're not... See this rabbit out here? 
Okay, so some of y'all need to get in relationships. Some of y'all are going into relationships just to have sex. And that's not a found, that's not built on a, a solid foundation. And some of y'all haven't, and then knowing these people online, they having sex or they trying to find commitment because they hobosexuals. They need a place to sleep and a bite to eat. And if you look at their fucking pictures, you'll be able to tell for some of y'all if you use your intuition and taps in. Okay? So some of y'all, mm-mm, some of y'all getting married. Some of y'all are about to get married. Some of y'all are getting married or they trying to have a relationship for you because you you the queen of pentacles. And they offering all this love and this queen of pentacles or whoever this energy is, they looking for love. Child, and they willing to do anything for love. They really, honey, they will pick up anybody homeless off the streets. They willing, child, I'm telling you, and you gonna end up in prison in your own shit. Or this is a homosexual that's going to a controlling Queen of Pentacles energy and what you think you're going to get a home, you're going to end up in jail. I'm just telling you all because you're trying to get out of being out of poverty, but your ass is going to end up feeling um, defeated because, look, I'm just saying, y'all, I don't know where this is going and I don't know if this has anything to do with anything. Spirit say it do. It's for somebody. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's going on in the energy? Main males. There's a man trying to look for something because he's going through some type of awakening or a rebirth. Or he could be going through an ending. But the main male wants to be an official person. So that five change is that ending that this male is going through. So you have a homosexual or you could be this homosexual that's looking for a place to sleep and a motherfucking bite to eat. And all you have to offer is penis possibly. I don't know. I don't know. For some of you guys, be careful of whoever you're about to, child, whoever you're about to date. Page of Pentacles. You need to go look within first before you choose any of this because your ass end up might you might get burnt, crunched, and clapped because whoever this is, they have sex for a place to sleep and a bite to eat, y'all. That's why I said what I said about online. So, so this is has to do with online, okay? Oh my god. Yeah, some of y'all about to look get a, into a relationship, a courtship online, Gemini, and you need to go use your intuition about whoever this energy is, if you have a feeling that you're not able to grow with this person, or this is the thing, you need to use your intuition right when you link up into the energy. As soon as you lay your eyes on their picture, you need to have your fucking, your third eye chakra is going to be going off. It's going to give you all kind of visions of what's going on with this person. It's up to you to accept it or not, okay? Whatever you see, you might not like it, and it's going to keep you entrapped in your head, but for some reason, I don't know. But whoever this energy is, they have endings all around them and you do not want to tap into that type of energy and all folks for some of them because they do sleep around for survival. They have some type of STD and that's all they have to offer you. And that's going to keep you in prison in your head. Lord have mercy because this person is a false person. They are burning in the background, okay? Child, and when I say I saw the lust in their eyes and shit, and then, mm, child, I was like, this is disgusting. It made my stomach hurt. I couldn't even take it no more. What else, spirit? There's some secrets, okay? I know. I know there's a secret. The secret is what, spirit? <laughs> they got hidden. The secret is this damn disease. This gift that keeps on giving that leads to death from the false person. But he's trying to be the official person, though. What's the Ace of Wands, girls and boys? What's the Ace of Girl? I mean, what's the Ace of Wands, Holy Spirit? You better use your intuition about this motherfucking penis. You better use your intuition about it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ooh, because, honey, if you look, this is that type of person. They sleep around for survival. They, honey, it, it doesn't matter. They don't have a choice at this point to even choose who they sleep with. They are doing this for survival. So whatever happens, happens. And I'm telling you, use your intuition. And for some of y'all are so spiritually inclined, you can touch something and have an... So for instance, say for instance, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You see, you, you know, date a person. I don't know. You guys are kind of getting intimate. I don't know. Touchy feely, a little bit of touchy feeling. Just, just say you touch his private area and your, your hand inflames. They bust out in the inflammation. <laughs> that's for real. No, that's some real shit. Your hand will bust out in the inflammation if you ain't got, especially if you're a high priestess. 
Your shit will be blessed out in flames as protection energetically from God to let you know that who you about to lay down with or who you're interacting with is motherfucking walking death. So they're going to give you a gift that keeps on giving if you, honey, and I'm telling you, you don't know this though. Because some of y'all so thirsty and ready to be an official person with somebody, anybody, Jesus, I don't care what it is. This person's very immature, immature, immature as well. Okay, so tell me more what Gemini needs to be aware of. Gemini, this person is trying to get unstuck. Because they are in the hangman. They're in the page of pentacles energy. They could be you or somebody around you. But this is a person that, I don't know, since the beginning, I can't make it up. Since the beginning of the reading, I got the intuition of um, online dating and things like that. Whoever you are, I'm speaking to a mature woman. I'm speaking to a privileged lady and or a wealthy man. Okay, so this is either for you, both of y'all, men and women. You got a false walking death-like person that you're about to run into. Those are for online daters. Or either the person that you might meet at. I don't know, but the honey, the secret is that they got bad fucking health. And they coming to give you a motherfucking gift, Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher. They look like they got it going on. Okay, or you look like you got it going on. But the message that you, child, I don't know if you're going to, I don't know what this message is or whatever. It's going to clutch your pearls because it's going to change everything. So how is this Gemini going to receive this message? How is Gemini going to receive this message? How are they going to even know? How is Gemini going to receive this message? Somebody's going to pass away. Wait a minute. Hold on. Does somebody that they know and they're fit? Wait. But how do they get sick? Who? And you're going to receive a message. So I don't know what this death is. It's a, it's about a courtship, something about a family room and a death. And you're going to get it for, for some of y'all going to get a message about a death. Okay. In your family, whatever that may be. But, um, I'm trying to figure out how are you going to know? about this death-like situation because oh i don't think you're supposed to know i think this is a you supposed to use your discernment on working it out with this person or not because this person is going to need a place to sleep and a bite to eat i'm telling you right now with this change card you need to go in and use your intuition about trying to work it out with this person who you're getting ready to find on online who is in the fool they're trying to get out unjuggled unjuggled and they are trying to be somebody's main male or main female, and they don't have that much, okay? But look, they that's what they do is sleep with people for survival. And so they are in bad health, and you're not going to know this because you're so thirsty and ready to get into a commitment to be the official person, okay? But they, honey, I'm telling you. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Gemini. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Let me grab these because, oh, Lord. Okay, so uh, what else, spirit? The mm, something, the death to the star. Well, somebody's emo in their emotions. It could be this person that's coming to you because they're worried about how they're gonna make it through, how they're gonna, you know, get out of poverty. We got the emperor and the devil. So whoever this energy is that's coming in your energy right now, they're imbalanced, they're upset, and they are a narcissistic energy. Just know that they are a narcissistic energy and they're coming in to lock it down for survival. You hear me? Lord have mercy. So yeah, this is a narcissistic homosexual energy who's possibly diseased already. Mm. And they are coming in to lock it down. They don't give a fuck what kind of personality, who you are, what you are, whatever the case may be. They're stuck right now. They are. And they are sick as well. Oh my God, they're sick. What is this spirit? And that's a secret. And it's heavily burdened into this person. Oh, la, 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 la. So y'all be careful online, okay? So I just feel that y'all need to go within. Like, I don't know. This shit make you not want to date nobody. Because all these people, I was going to say something else. <laughs> tell, them, tell us more, Holy Spirit. You, Gemini. Oh my God, that popped out too with the four swords. So somebody is sick coming towards you, Gemini. I'm just going to let you know, okay? I'm not trying to make you not date or nothing like that. You do what thou will. Just use your intuition and your discernment, baby boys and baby girls, okay? Yeah, because you already know something about this or the king, something. 
And also, this could be somebody, I don't see the Six of Cups, but this is somebody that you've already known, though, too. Okay? And they have, so, look, that's why I say nobody from your past, because you don't know what the fuck they done linked up into and then contracted and got. Okay? And if you get with this King of Wands energy, just because they look good and shit, you're going to end up fucked up, because that's just an illusion, baby. Okay? You needed to balance out your shit. Period, spoo. Because they is sick and they's in the hangman mode. So however this goes, y'all be careful in them streets, motherfucker. Be careful in them streets, yeah? Because you're going to be going back and forth to the hospital. And I don't think you go. Child, uh, move wisely. I've already, I've already told you what's going on. So, honey, it's been revealed. Use your intuition. Don't get in. Don't look. Juggle out your life or balance out your life. Because you're going to get defeated if you're too thirsty to get into some type of relationship with a narcissistic energy that needs a place to sleep and a bite to damn eat. You're going to be upset that you collaborated or whatever. And that's the truth, Queen of Swords. So I'm going to end the reading right there. Yeah. You should have never took this motherfucking offer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Gemini, because you thought, the, mm, no, mm -mm. yeah, it's going to leave you in the nine of swords and leave you stuck right here. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. If you work with this motherfucker, that's going to leave you right here. Okay. Or there's somebody in their head because you're leaving them on red and you don't want to work with them and somebody wants to come and travel towards you. That's another energy because the older energy is coming through. Okay. They have a lot of love or they're looking at you as the queen of cups and they want to come towards you. They're looking for you too. Whoever this older energy is, is looking for you. Okay. But they're at a standstill or they're trying to find out where you're at. I don't know, baby. And they're in their head because they cannot find you. It's a secret wherever you're at. But I just, mm, there's a lot going on over here, Gemini. But honestly, just, I don't know. You already know what to do. This is crazy. Why are these diseased people trying to come towards you, Lord? And they're all empty and wounded and broken and child disease people trying to come to you because they need love they're empty they're investing they're trying to look for love in everybody else instead of finding it within themselves see they are trying to find love and happiness in everybody else instead of finding it in themselves or finding it in god that's where the happiness lays and dwells and they see you as being the sun and the lovers so you're like a moth to a flame burned by the fire so you're going to be attracting a lot of low vibrational energies to you for your healing energy. I feel I get a healing energy from you. You're very loving and kind and nurturing and mothering. They get that energy. These narcissistic energies are attracted to that. And this is a, a good looking narcissistic energy too. So that's what I'm saying. Why you got your shirt off and you, you your panties and shit and you, child, these men and women look disgusting. You can see the devil through them. Just look at them. Especially if you're woke and you have some type of spiritual awakening. You can see through these lovers. Instead of seeing your soulmate, you see the motherfucking lusty ass devil. Like, oh hell no. So yeah, mm -mm. and what you don't know is that a lot of these motherfuckers is burning because they be having these one night stands online and you don't never know who be hooking up with who online, honey, okay? Exactly. Use your intuition because somebody is going to have bad health because they fucking with somebody that's already diseased and burning in secret. Okay, oh, Lord have mercy, which is a false person. And for some of y'all, they are a wealthy man and a wealthy woman because they have the money. They're all in their ego and shit. That's the narcissistic energy too for some of y'all that feels that they have money and they can just flash it off and fuck everybody. So, but honey, don't be no temptation. Don't be no Tyler Perry's temptation. Please don't. Okay, because that's a horrible movie how she had a good man, a good husband you know what I mean? But she was too hot in the pants and wanted all this excitement and passion in her marriage. But motherfuckers be working and shit. So she went off to go find somebody else who she thought had a lot of passion and desire and was rich and doing his thug thizzle. But his ass was HIV positive and she slept with him and destroyed her whole life. All for a couple of nights of passion. Right? Yeah. And it, and it wasn't worth it. She thought Harvey was his name. Harvey was the one and Harvey was not the one. Harvey was a false person that was burning, honey. But she thought this man was an emperor because he was a multimillionaire. And he was taking her on planes and doing her. Was that the sky, the sky, the mile sky, my, the frequent fires club? 
You know what I mean? Wine and dining her, taking her, showing her all this affection and attention, you know, and to only find out that she ended up defeated because she was dealing with the motherfucking devil because she was unsatisfied where she was at. She was incontent. She was not content. She wasn't happy. But see, all the happiness was already within her. She needed to balance out whatever was ailing her within her relationship. It wasn't her husband. It was her low vibration. She needed to balance herself out, but she didn't. And that's why she got burnt, clapped, and crushed in the movie. And this sounds like it's going to be some of y'all too. Lord have mercy. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Gemini, this is not you high vibe, okay? Because you're not even operating in this devil mystic energy. This is for somebody that's operating in this energy, okay? So if this is not you, I wouldn't worry. But if this is you, child, you need to get your life together, honey. Because it don't look like, mm, mm, mm. Because God didn't give you too many chances. Too many chances. Okay. Because some of y'all so thirsty for marriage and love and just to be the official person. You need to go within and be happy within. Ain't nobody on the outside of you going to make you happy. Okay. Go within. God is going to be the one inside of you to make you happy. So stop searching without to fulfill within. Okay. So when you have done the work, then you meet somebody then both of y'all are going to be like, it's going to be this, hey, yeah, it's going to be happy and loving and balanced and temperance angel and all of that stuff. Because you put in the work and you put God first and you choose yourself. You choose love first. You love yourself, not loving other people, but you love yourself. And because you love yourself and respect yourself and hold God in high honor, that's why you're held in high honor. Okay. So you got to give yourself respect in order to gain respect. Don't be giving it away, opening your legs, all of that. Y'all, you can if you want to, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You want to have some you want to have some endings to face, pay some something some consequences to pay, good or bad, however that may be. But I'm in the reading right there, Gemini. I hope this helps and yeah, use your intuition, babies. Use your intuitions about whoever's coming in your energy with this bad health. And that's been coming out damn near in all the readings. So clearly this is some real shit. Okay? So I love you so much. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.